What's up, guys? Thought I'd make a video on my review of the Easy EF5 Dotson. Either you have a 240, 260, or 280 fuel injection kit. Well, I have a 280. Usually, those are the only ones that come fuel injection, but I'm not too sure of the other ones you can make a fuel injection. But the kit is pretty, <clears throat> kit is pretty decent. Um, I'm going to talk about some of the things that it took me research because I couldn't find no explanation videos or anything in the instructions about. Okay, so as you see, we have the kit on. I had to try. To, I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to run the wiring harness to. I feel like since this kit was created for a V8, the way the injectors kind of run, they're supposed to be like a V like this for this way and for this way on a V8. And obviously we have an inline six, so that's kind of weird. Um, what else? <clears throat> oh, the most main important part that I felt like nobody else explained or wasn't a lot of explanation online is on the old kit, hold up, on the old kit. So this is the old stuff. And this right here is your fuel relay. You won't, you won't be needing this no more. So what you need to do is the easiest route is to actually get the Easy EFI fuel pump relay. Not the actual kit, but at least their relay, which is this. The fuel pump harness, which plugs into this directly from the kit. I ran it back inside and literally just cut and spliced the power <clears throat> the power wire to my actual pump fuel pump and as soon as you open your switch the fuel pump will start working the only problem with that is is just that as soon as your switch is open your pump is running non-stop even if your motor isn't on <clears throat> i don't know Unless you have to get like the, I heard for you to avoid that issue, you have to get the entire kit from Easy EF5, like their fuel pump, and that's like almost close to a thousand dollars. That's not in the budget, at least not now. But yeah, besides that, <clears throat> another thing I would like to explain is this is this kit learns on its own, meaning that while you drive it, it's tuning itself. And if you keep turning your car on, on and leaving it idle without like actually driving it, you will foul out your spark plugs. Cause that happened to me. Cause that's another issue. But <clears throat> you know, other than that, the kit is pretty great. The handheld, everything's great. <clears throat>